Namaskar and welcome to In Focus. The popular perception is things have never been as bad in Delhi as they are today. But does the Chief Minister accept that? And with just perhaps a hundred days to go to the elections, what does he propose to do about it? Today, in an exclusive interview with In Focus, the Chief Minister of Delhi, Saib Singh Warma, defends his government. Chief Minister, the Home Minister, Mr. L.K. Advani, has repeatedly said that the law and order situation in the capital is not good, it's not satisfactory. At the same time, the police commissioner, Mr. V. N. Singh, has said that there's nothing unusual about it and this is just an impression created by free and fair registration of cases. Who should we believe? Uh, both should be believed, perhaps. Because uh, when Mr. Advani says so, he says because he says uh, he is not satisfied with the law and order situation in the country. He says not because it is bad at the moment. He says it is, it has been like this in the past and we are trying to improve it. He says when it is not very good, he should say it is not very good. When it is bad, he should say it is bad. And he says at the same time it needs a lot of improvement. And that he is doing. Let me ask you when your... When Mr. Vien Singh says that it is just normal and nothing unusual, but uh, perhaps he is uh, not uh, very correct in saying so, so because free uh, registration of cases, free and without any hedge and all the cases when are registered, certainly the cases will be more. But at the same time, I, I must agree that uh, it needs a lot of improvement. Let me, it's let not that bad as, as it has already been said by many people. Let's take up this question of exactly how bad it is, because that's what this whole debate revolves around. How do you react to the fact that almost every newspaper has published statistics which show that in the two years since you took over from March 1996, in the case of murders, decoities, robberies, abductions, extortions, the number has increased sometimes very sharply. That's right. That I agree. The number has increased. That in Delhi, you know, there is special condition for Delhi. It has been increasing. It's not that this year he said it has increased. But uh, certainly it has increased a bit more. Does that worry you? When we are uh, having more than half a million of population coming to Delhi every year, Certainly, all sort of people are coming, and certainly, I mean, people coming. We are not uh, uh, aware about their antecedents. But Chief Minister Saab, no. it's not just that it's increased over a two, three-year time span. In the last three months, the statistics suggest that in fact it's got worse still. For instance, robberies and decoities in May this year are said to be a hundred percent more than May last year. In June, there were some seventy percent more. In July, they're supposed to be fifty percent more. Agreed. It's a worsening situation. Uh, mm, but uh, I have the other thing also in mind. When we um, think of the increasing number of crimes, if you see the, the uh, type of crimes which were there, say for example, robbery, how many murders in the robbery last year in the same month, and how many murders in robbery and uh, this year also now we are very petty petty things we are registering as robbery Chief very Mr. petty things say suppose if you just uh, take 10 paisa and just run away you will have to register I'm carrying, I'm carrying that some of the things being registered but, uh, so are very is. small petty things yeah so they show up as a statistic but actually it's not really a crime it's not it's not that that much I mean we, when you talk of robbery uh, robbery is a very big term but when we register cases for very small thing, technically it has to be registered as robbery. Earlier we used to just settle things and many times we used not to register the cases. Let me put this to you. Today you have daylight robberies, buses being held up on that is uh, colony flyover. That is, you are 100% correct. That is something which is very, very rare. This never happened in the city, but this has happened now. And that is a question of great concern for all of us. That's why we had a meeting with the Home Minister and we said that certainly we, we need... Yeah. Let me draw your attention to a poll recently published by Outlook magazine. Mm -hmm. It says that 61%, 61% of Delhi feels unsafe. Are you concerned about that? Mm. Uh, certainly when such cases are there, not 61%, but uh, that may be correct also. I don't want to say anything against that, but uh, certainly it needs improvement. I agree with it. You agree it needs yeah, improvement? Yeah, I agree it needs improvement. And, and you're that's not... Why, that's why, and that's why, now when I meet... Can I ask one thing, I'm not going to interrupt you, but one thing is, people say that the situation has got to the point 
where criminals are acting with impunity. They are not scared of the police, they are not scared of the government. Criminals have a free hand. That's what people say. No, that is not the case, but certainly it needs improvement. That's why now we are making, now yesterday we made committees uh, headed by all our MPs, the district level committees, law and order committees. Now within two days we are uh, also uh, making many committees at the level of police station where the elected representative of the area, that is MLA, uh, will be uh, chairing that committee and it will include all the senior citizens of the... Okay, I want to talk to you about what you are going to do because that is looking forward. Mm -hmm. But before that, let me ask you one other question. Mm -hmm. Your Chief Minister of Delhi, why is this happening? What lies behind this I rising feel, trend of uh, crime? Certainly, if you ask me as Chief Minister, certainly, this is what we have been demanding for. The police should be under the state control of the government of Delhi because we are the person who really know the, the pinch and who are really concerned with it. The Home Minister of the country, actually, as a matter of fact, he has to look after the whole country. He cannot concentrate on one city or one state. But aap there, aap of course, agar police aapke charge mein aa jai, the situation will, will improve. It will certainly but improve. Why has the situation to begin with deteriorated? What is the cause for the fact that people ah, in Delhi today this, uh, feel unsafe? This, uh, this question when I asked the Lieutenant Governor and asked the Police Commissioner, even they have failed to answer this question. You mean but the Police Commissioner does not know why the crime graph uh, is rising? Uh, he perhaps doesn't know it. He says that this is only because of free and fair registration. No, Do you that think is, there are that other is, reasons? That is, that is all only one of the factors where which... Uh, uh, are there, but it, it's not the main. It's not the main thing. What are the other factors? Other factors are that uh, we we are. Uh, I mean, what I feel is that every person living in Delhi must have a registration. Every person living in Delhi must have an identity card, which we, anybody can see. See, but registration, identity one. card, will perhaps control crime later on. Why is it that today it has increased? Why is it that today it has increased? The main reason I believe वो तो पुलिस को और अधिक काम करने की आवश्यकता है और पुलिस के कार्य में शिथिलता का ये कारण है। अच्छा आप कह रहे हैं कि पुलिस को अधिक काम करने की आवश्यकता है। Let me ask you a simple question. Today people say कि सिर्फ क्राइम नहीं बड़ी दिल्ली में हमारा हौसला पुलिस के साथ छूट गया। Again, the India Today poll says that 64% of Delhi thinks the police are involved in the crimes. Are you worried that this Loss of image, loss of confidence in the police has taken place. Uh, I agree with this that the police needs uh, to upgrade in all manners. It need it needs upgradation. I agree with you. The commitment which the police people should have that is uh, not of that level which is needed for the capital of the country. That needs to be improved. But it, what is the it, problem? It is it? But is it the quality of people joining the police? Is it their training? Is it their leadership? Uh, I think uh, uh, if, uh, uh, I mean, this is, what, this is my assessment. It is uh, not only, it's not the one thing. It is uh, also the training. It is also, also the leadership. And it is perhaps also uh, the type of control police needs. Okay. It's the political control. I know also that the police has serious problems of their own. For instance, as Chief Minister, how do you condone the fact that out of a force of 50, 55,000, perhaps 25, 30,000 are on VIP duty? That also I said that uh, the other, the, so many factors, the one of the, those factors is that uh, the, the number of police persons who should be on, uh, say, uh, duty uh, to maintain law and order that is also not adequate. That's why we are now going to uh, recruit about 5,000 persons. Magar, how long will it take? How long will it take? But how long will it uh, take you to I recruit 5,000? Uh, this is uh, this is what I told the Home Minister also that when we recruit these people, uh, it will take a lot of time to give them training, and then they will come back. So on this duty. is a medium so, term so, or a so, long term no, solution. No, I, I said the immediate what could be done is that we should take persons on deportation from BSF, CRPF, and other. By police agencies, so that they immediately we, uh, we, we open our uh, police stations and uh, employ people. What did he say to that? Did he accept? He said, yes, I'll, uh, I agree with it. 
I'll talk to the police commission, the lieutenant governor. So when will these people from the BSF, the CRPF, I, I feel join you? Uh, this should uh, be done as early as possible. But I'll again, date DJ, I'll date DJ. Date. Actually, uh, I could I could give it had, it had the resolution for state would be passed. I'll have to talk to the Home Minister again. That is the... That is the most unfortunate thing. What can I do? You are a victim I of went to I went to Moscow and I saw... And people told me that when Mr. Luzko goes to any area, he gives orders on spot and things are done. I think such a... Let me, let me... The most me, unfortunate sir. thing is if I go to a police station, I can't order for anything. You say it is very unfortunate that out of 55,000 police in Delhi, 30, 35 are involved in VIP duty. Not, not that much. But 30,000? 30,000? No, no, no. 50% About 25% people why are can't involved you in VIP duty. Why can't you pull them back onto general duty? Akhir, in your city, in the country, 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 I, I, I have written a letter this morning to the police commissioner that if you, if you have inadequate force, you withdraw all the police persons attached with me because that is my safety is not that important as the safety of the people living in Delhi. And I think about 30, can you go further? 30 can to you 40 say, persons can you say can with, be, with I, I can I, I'll also speak to him that all other persons also. I know there are criminals involved in murder cases. There are cases recommended by CI. CBI. Even those persons are having 100 police personnel just to, uh, to see their security. There is no fun in can you, keeping giving security to such persons. Can you go further? Can you tell the police commissioner withdraw all VIP security or at least cut it by 50 percent? I can say about myself and also can tell him that uh, wherever it is possible and you feel that uh, the uh, life of the people is not in danger, you should withdraw security. You should, you, and you will say this? Yeah, I'll say this. Okay. For this part, my last question. Mm -hmm. I can see, mm -hmm. and the audience will be able to tell, that you are genuinely unhappy about the situation. But you have a problem, you don't control the police. You have a second problem, that you are not happy with the way the police is functioning. But on Monday, you have to give an answer to the Delhi High Court. They have asked you to tell them what steps you are going to take to improve the law and order situation in Delhi. Uh, to the High Court and I think for me the, the people of Delhi are not at the High Court, not even they are more than Supreme Court for me. I must reply to the people of Delhi, that's very important. Ma and my reply to the people of Delhi is, is my, my my Supreme Court yeah, they are more than Supreme Court for me. Lekin the, the, the mera kuch aur tha, sahab, I say that the High Court is what he say, that the High Court will certainly say that uh, we, we are going to strengthen the police. We are uh, uh, going to uh, take more effective steps to see that the law and order uh, is uh, controlled fully. Uh, this is what we can see. And the steps which we are taking, we tell them going to open police stations, going to recruit people, going to take people on deportation. Can you give Delhi. a deadline by when you will do this? Uh, I think uh, this uh, um, uh, many things must be done by, by uh, say, 31st of... Uh, August. This is what I feel. And some of the important things must be done before 15th of August. Mujhe ek yeah. In September, mm -hmm. one month away in September, can you as Chief Minister tell me that the law and order situation in Delhi will have changed for the better? Yes, certainly. I can, I can, I'm confident that in almost a month's time we'll certainly improve this. With your hand on your heart, you can make this promise to the people. Yeah, I can make this promise to the people. And again, if you like, you can meet me on 31st of August. And you yourself may perhaps say that it has improved. The situation has improved. Chief Minister Saab, at that moment of reassurance, I want to take a quick commercial break. I want to come back in part two and talk to you about the other problems you face because unfortunately, it's not just law and order in Delhi that seems to be going wrong. You have so many other problems. You have a real bundle of them at the moment. But first, we take a quick commercial break. Don't go away. We'll be back with you in just a couple of moments. Welcome back. We're talking to the Chief Minister of Delhi. Mr. Verma, in part one, I deliberately concentrated on the law and order situation because it worries and concerns people. But in fact, 
law and order is by no means the only problem you have. You have a serious power shortage, you have a water crisis, you have hospital employees on strike, you have teachers about to go on strike, and you have serious public transport problems. Let me put this to you. Is Delhi ungovernable or are you incapable of governing it properly? Uh, Mr. Guy, I can say one thing with all confidence as far as the law and order situation the city is concerned. I think uh, as I had to talk with uh, the Home Minister, the Lieutenant Governor and the Police Commissioner, it is certainly going to improve within 30 days. I can give assurance to all the residents of Delhi that they should not uh, think that they are unsafe. We are here to uh, give them all safety. And safety measures we are already going to take. We have already taken some of them. And I'm fully confident that 30 days will certainly improve the law and order situation daily. So far as other problems are concerned, as you said, bundle of problems with regard to electricity, with, el with regard to water. Certainly, I say there are problems in a city where the, plan, the growth is totally unplanned where almost half a million of people are coming to Delhi every year. When we came in power in 1993, the population of Delhi was 25 lakhs less than what we have today. Also, the consumption of electricity was just 16 megawatt. It is 1,600 megawatt. Are now, we, it has gone to 2,400 megawatt. Are you saying by any the, chance, the, Chief Minister, that the growth of Delhi and perhaps the people of Delhi are themselves responsible for the problems no, they face today. No, it's not like that. It's the government which is responsible. I, say, I tell you, the, the biggest problem in Delhi had been that they, uh, they, 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 there is a multiplicity of authority. If you want to do one thing, you need permission from 100 agencies. There's too much bureaucracy. For, for too example, too, too much, much bureaucracy. Yes, too much bureaucracy and too much, uh, you know, uh, uh, problems for uh, getting one project through. Let me put something to you. People say that there are problems in Bombay, Calcutta, Madras, but no city except Delhi has so many problems of such a high intensity all happening at the same time. I tell you, the problems in other places are more than Delhi. But uh, since uh, we are in Delhi, we read about Delhi, otherwise when we compare, I tell you, yesterday I was meeting the World Bank people. They say the situation of water is worse in Mumbai, Calcutta, Chennai, and all other places. Why don't the people of Delhi believe that themselves? They believe. If they talk to me, and if you talk to me, take any, anything. If you talk of the public transport system, we had only 1,100 buses of public transport on the road. You? Can now I interrupt you? More than 3,000. Can I interrupt and give you an example? In this year, in the first six months, there have been 194 rape cases in Delhi. During the same period in Bombay, there were 44. In Calcutta, there were 11. In Chennai, there were 7. As Chief Minister, explain As, uh, to me so this disparity. Mr. Khan, so far as law and order is concerned, I'm not talking much of law and order. I've told you that it will certainly improve within 30 days. But I can, cannot uh, 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 tell much about law and order because uh, since uh, it is a subject matter, which is uh, also concerning the Home Minister of the country and the left hand side. I law and order. I am talking about law and order. Do you think the people of Delhi are more violent, less law abiding? Or is it the police that's worse? Or is it the government that's worse? Because why is it that Delhiites feel that this is the worst run city? Yeah, are they to blame? Is, or are there some if you, if to you, blame? If you take it from me, I say all these people are to be blamed. I can't say that people in Mumbai, I feel, are more law-abiding citizens than Delhi. But Delhi people are, in some of these very, very sensitive uh, people, they're, most of them law-abiding. Law but in some of the areas, which I do not want to name, but in some of the areas, law and order situation is very bad. And if you take the criminals, and most of the cases, you know, have been worked out, and you take the criminals, those criminals are basically from those areas. But those areas which have been just, which have, which have come into existence without any, uh, say, keep, I mean, without, uh, say, not uh, approved all on a To what things. extent are Delhiites to blame? To what extent are Delhiites responsible for their own I, problems? I can't blame Delhiites, uh, uh, just uh, I'm a part of it. But a what part? 50% part? part? Uh, yeah about 50% of it. So 50% of the problems of Delhi are Delhiites own making. Because, because uh, as uh, our Atalji has also said, that these people are not coming from outside, 
most of them from Delhi only. Mujhe and they are creating problems. Mujhe ek chiz bataye, Mukhya Mantri Sahib. Uh. When things go right, politicians are only too happy to claim the credit for it. No. When things go wrong, I do you as Chief Minister see, see, accept Mr. that yes, there's a responsibility? Yes, certainly. I, being Chief Minister of the Cape Town, I owe the responsibility for many things. I owe the responsibility that many projects which we went to the government of India we, were, were not true. So I cannot blame the Delhi people for that. I should blame the, people, the government which was at the center. For the last four years, I could, get, could not get even a single power project uh, through. And uh, how much, the, the how main, much, reason, how much was, you the main reason was the government of India. How much do you blame yourself as chief minister? I can say that uh, uh, the, the, the way the government officials of the city, our ministers and our government has worked, uh, any, uh, any, any person living in Delhi can be proud of this government. Okay. And people are proud of it. Are you, That's are why you... in the last four elections, they, there is the entire establishment vote, but in the last four elections, people have liked this government. आपने election की आपने elections की बात की है perhaps in a hundred days perhaps in a hundred and twenty days we could have elections in Delhi are you confident that the people are going to vote for you I am confident the people of Delhi will vote for us and will be getting minimum fifty seats out of seventy minimum I say fifty seats out of seventy I know the pulse of the people I know how much we have done for the people and I know the persons who are coming to me every day if they don't believe us if they don't have no confidence in us People are coming more and more every day to Mukhe us. Mantri sahab, log kehte hai ke din mein bijli nahi hai, raat ko paani nahi hai. I say hai, that is not a fact. Ghar ke andar khatra hai, sardhkoon pe chori ho rhi hai. Aur tab bhi aapko vote mein milenge? Aisi baat nahi karan ji. Log jantay hai ke jib chaar saal pehle hum sarkar mein aay thai, kitni samasya thai bijli ki. People know how many problems we had of water. Now at present, we have got more than thousand tinkers. For those areas, people, we don't have even a drop of water to drink. We have provided that water. So when you go, we have taken electricity to those areas. We have uh, put transport to unauthorized colonies. We have taken steps to regularize unauthorized colonies. We have provided facilities in JJ clusters. We have um, set up a separate board for the trans area, and we have spent more than 500 crores. So, Chief there. Minister, when you in go, all rural so areas, you if go, you go and see, you will find it better than what it used to be 100 years back. So when you, or what, I mean, uh, 10 years back, uh, 10 times better than what it was earlier. Ten times bit. Sab hausla to aapka bhot hai. No, no, I'm telling you. Ek baar phir mujhe keh dijega. I'm telling you. Is thi thi mein aap baake hi pachar si jitenge sattar mein se. Karanji, yes, certainly. It is based on facts. I say, in this year itself, we are going to start electricity projects of 1671 kilowatts. 1671 megawatts. And you said in 30 days, In 30 days, Life will be better for Delhiites. So far as law and order is concerned, so far as electricity is concerned, so far as water is concerned, transportation is concerned, health is concerned, it will certainly improve every day. Chaliye sir, 30 din chhoore, 40 din ya 45 din ke baad, if the law and order situation has not improved, will you step down as chief minister? So far as law and order is concerned, a law and order state way, if it is made a state and law and order comes under me, and if I don't improve it, I'll I have no right to stay in for a day. And so far as electricity and water is concerned, I can say, if I don't improve before election, if I don't, don't improve tremendously, I'll not be in this post, I'll resign from this post. Before the elections also? Before the elections also, if I don't improve. So you are saying today that if the water situation and the... And the electricity situation and the transport situation... Do not improve the before the elections, yeah. you will step if, down. If we, yeah, certain. What's the deadline for this? Before election, I say, if it doesn't improve, you will, you will see improvement every day. Chief Minister, the people of Delhi have heard I you. Have no you, have the no, you have no love for the chair. I have no love for the chair. I have love to work for the people. And I'm doing that. I'll do more and more. And I'm 100% confident with the help of the people, with the cooperation of the people, we'll be certainly improving the situation to all fronts. And the people of Delhi will like us and will be again coming to power with not less than 50 seats out of 70. Chief Minister Saab, the people of Delhi have heard this interview, they've heard your reassurance, and most importantly, they've seen and heard your challenge that if things don't improve before elections, you will step down. Yes, at that it, point, at that point, we have to now end the interview. The future will tell what happens. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you very much. Mr. Varma, thank you very much for thank talking you. to InFocus. That's it for this thank week. We'll be back you. next week with another interviewee. That's today from the Chief Minister's offices in New Delhi. Goodbye.